I am now creating weekly exclusive content for Patreon, so if you are interested in that, go check out the link down below. And of course, if you want to avoid the random lottery of FIFA points, you want to go straight to the source, buy the players directly, use u7buy.com and use the code TVM at checkout. What is going on guys, Tim here, welcome back to 6 o'clock content. As you can see, I'm just loading into FIFA now, so I haven't seen anything. I've had this message quite a few times. I hope, is this the thing that's going to pop up every day? That would be kind of cool, uh, just to sort of, you know, keep keep the message going. Um, I haven't loaded into this account for, well, 24 hours now. It is, it's about 10 past 6. I've seen one message from someone in my group chat that just said oh no ea I, d I don't know anything beyond that so i'm assuming we've not had the ultimate team of the season sbc i'm assuming we've not had anything good at all uh if if i hadn't read anything at all i would have just gone with we should have an ultimate sbc we should have five uh league specific premium upgrades like the, the 25k packs for each specific league, and then maybe a player, although probably not. That's what I would hope for. Um, let's find out, shall we? I'm not, not looking forward to this purely because of what that message I've, I've read. Uh, that was there anyway. I didn't do it. That was there anyway. That was there anyway. That was there. Oh, really? A, an untradeable rare Electrum. I don't... Wait, no, that is... They've given us the Deluxe again. Are you drunk? What is wrong with you? And then throwback marquee matchups, which is always good for a punt. And that's it? Oh, my days. No upgrades. I've just realized. No upgrades. What are you doing? This is ultimate team of the season. Uh, I've just, I, I, I need, I'm, I've got a problem, right? <laughs> this is ultimate team of the season. It is the very end to th quite literally the biggest promo in FIFA. And they have given us marquee matchups, which is what we get every single Thursday. Right? There it is. A, a, I'm assuming another deluxe. I've not looked. Let me go look at Footbin. Yeah, another deluxe team of the season pack, which I didn't like first time round, but I did it for content. I didn't like it second time round, but I had to do it because I had cards that I needed to get rid of. So I thought I might as well do it for content. And they've given us a third time. And it's the exact same requirement. 86 rated team. I, j I don't... The, the thing that gets me is if they're willing to give us three, surely you should just say, look, here it is, repeatable. Why couldn't they have just done that in the first place? Here is the deluxe team of the season. This is what I would have done, right? And I was thinking about this last night for a promo, but I'll do that in maybe a separate video. Maybe I won't even bother. But it's such a small tweak, right? What I would have done... What I would have done is actually a lot more, but what they could have done, just to tweak it slightly, we had this deluxe team of the season guarantee, what was it, Tuesday? So they could have made it repeatable. Just drop that with whatever else they drop. Make it repeatable, right? These little team of the season challenges. I don't, rare Electrum packs are actually good. Untradeable, though. That's annoying. Make that tradable, and that's not bad, right? But to end, what I would have done with these three, that could have been a 25k pack. To be fair, that should have been a 35k pack. That should have been a 50k pack. Tradable untradeable at least they would have been better but I, I would have made them tradable personally and then today to end the biggest promo that you have in a single cycle game cycle make that a, a tradable 100k pack even if you want to make it an 83 rated team fine just do it right that then gets everyone involved everyone will do that and everyone gets a 100k pack a lot, most people most of us won't even get boards out of it because that's what 100k packs are like but at least it's better than an untradable rare electrum this I would have made repeatable and I would have just released once on Tuesday. Then on Wednesday, when we should have had our rest of the world and ultimate team of the season packs, that's when I would have dropped them. And then, of course, to be honest, on Monday, I would also, instead of these horrible 83 double upgrade, to be fair, the 83 double upgrade in principle isn't a bad idea. 
it's the amount it costs. You have to give up an 83 rated squad, which is essentially, it's not because you can offset it with maybe 185 or whatever, but even that's taking the piss slightly. You have to basically give up 9 to 11 83 rated cards to potentially only get given two 83 rated cards. So that should have been... I mean, I'm not here to like tell you what prices things should have been or not, but it should be considerably less than an 83. I'm thinking maybe even an 81 rated team to get a double up, up uh, upgrade because they're untradeable at the end of the day. Even if I pack Neymar and Mbappe from those, I'm still, I need, you know, nine other positions in my team filled, you know? So there's still a reason for me to keep playing. And even if, if I pack Neymar or Mbappe from those, I have an even more incentive to keep playing this game rather than I'm not doing that anymore, turning that off and I'm going to go play something else. The 82 plus is a joke in itself. I mean, that's just ridiculous. I don't mind that too much because you can kind of use that with your fodder to grind. I, I, that's that's fine. The 82 plus doesn't make any sense to me. Why would anyone do that when they can go and do an 83 plus that I still don't agree with? But yeah, I would have I would have not uploaded. Uh, I would have not put that live at all. Maybe the 83 if you needed to. But I would have given us league specific premium upgrades. So the 25k packs for the Premier League, the French League, and so on and so forth. And then the 83 plus so that you can go and maybe have a chance of packing some of the rest of the world team of the seasons. And then of course last week we had the because uh, I would have done this on Sunday, and I can't remember what day they did it. Uh, you would have had a back end of the last minor league team of the season, was it the MLS and the Latin Americas, and then of course the rest of the world. Just that would have been better. And even if, up until today, you made all these mistakes, an ultimate team of the season pack here would have redeemed yourself slightly. Instead of that deluxe nonsense that no one cares about, an ultimate team of the season pack there would have been... Well, okay, at least we have one now. People will still have been annoyed, sure, but at least we would have had one now. Now, I've just seen on Footbin in the middle of my rant. That's the third rant in two days because I made a video dedicated to it this morning, what I would kind of like to have seen better and see in FIFA 21. And, of course, last night's 6 p.m. content was basically just me moaning, and I know I've moaned again. I've seen a card that I might be interested in. Hopefully, it's, yeah, it is. It's an objective card. That looks sexy. I do like Rafinha in real life. I think he's a very good player. It's there for seven days, which does make me believe, because obviously Grealish is there for another seven, eight days. He's there for seven days. Evander's only there for four days, but still. That makes me think that they might extend team of the season for another week, if not bare minimum until Monday. A lot of people are thinking, well, well, on Friday, tomorrow, what are we going to get? I honestly don't think we're going to get anything other than we're extending team of the season. Whether it be by a week, whether it be by three days or not, I don't know. But I think we'll get more. Obje we'll get one more objective player and potentially more besides in terms of SBCs. We may even still see the ultimate pack, but later on in, in the week and with upgrades as well. Maybe EA knew they were doing this. And they've obviously tried to stagger it out. I don't know why they would. And I don't know why there's no communication. They can see the uproar. Why can't they just turn around and say, look, this is a two-week thing, this ultimate team of the season. So we're going to sort of drip feed you some upgrades. And then we will give you what you want. But in the in the second half, I, I don't know. Either way, Rafinha is, is here. Assist in two separate rivals matches using Liga Nos players. Simple enough. Score and assist in two separate rivals matches using forwards with a max three-star skill uh, weak, sorry, three star weak foot, not skill moves, three star skill weak foot, that doesn't make any sense. Um, okay, score 10 goals using uh, League One players in rivals with a minimum four star skills, again, not too complicated, and then score a finesse goal in seven separate rivals wins using Brazilian players with minimum 82 dribbling. Fine. That's another Brazilian, though, to go with Evander and a couple of the other cards that we've had recently have been Brazilians. I'd like to look on Footbin, though, to see what his in-games look like, because, of course, you can't look at that in FIFA. But it's a nice it's a nice card, top five league. Let's have a little look at this then, shall we? So. Three star weak foot, not ideal. I can overlook it. Maybe. Uh, 
Lean body type is nice. Left footed, four star skills. It's not. It's not like blowing my mind, but it's not a bad card. And you know, you've got to bear in mind this is an objective. So you can work towards this over the next seven days. If you're not playing weekend league, you've got even longer to work toward it. It will fit in some people's teams. For the most part, I'm not entirely sure. Like you, you've probably got better cards in your club. Like there is a 96 D Maria that isn't that expensive that has the same weak foot problems. Uh, but has five star skills and is generally just better. If you don't have an awful lot of coins and you don't have a team that is, or, or a player in this position that is good enough, then it, it's going to be a good shout. But I mean, it's not, like I said, it's not a terrible card. 95 rated card with a chem style. His finishing, I don't know. He's going to feel ridiculously quick because he's got the body type, he's got the pace, he's got the agility. His shot power and his positioning is very, very good. His long shots are not bad either. His finishing, like I said, is a little bit off the pace. His passing is not very good, really. I mean, it's it's okay for immediate short passing, the odd bit of tick attacker, but in heavy gameplay in particular, that passing is going to suffer big time. And his his dribbling is, it yeah, it, it's good. It's in the 90s. What you got to consider though, there are a lot of cards out there now that are super super cheap where the dribbling is basically 95 plus across the board. So when I say his, his dribbling is it's not bad, and you're looking at it thinking, hang on a minute, 99, 90, 91, 91, 95, 90, what is he talking about? Your mind has to move with the times of the game. So if this card was released back in January, you'd be like, wow, that is an insane card. Now, though, compare it to the other team of the season cards, a lot of the rest of the world cards are as good as this, if not better, and they're 20, 30k. So, yeah, you, you're going to... You know, you, I think if this was on the market, you'd pay a small premium for the league that he's in, the nation that he is, uh, the links that you could get out of it. I don't think it's a terrible card, but I don't think it's amazing at the same time. For an objective, though, I don't think it's too bad. Would link to that Avanda. You could definitely have some fun with it. And I'll probably go to unlock it and look to get you a review maybe tomorrow. Uh, but um, yeah, that's your content for today. I, I mean, had we got a few extra things on top of this... Maybe I'd be a little bit more enthusiastic, but I am just bewildered that EA are ending. I don't think it is going to be the end because I think, it, like I said, it will continue to at least Monday, if not next week. But they are ending team ultimate team of the season with a bit of a whimper more than anything. Bit weird, though, to get an objective card on Thursday, but we'll see what tomorrow holds and whether they will extend the ultimate team of the season. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you going to go after this Rafinha, who could, like I said, be fun to use? Have to wait and see. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye. Football Index. The game changed. Download the app now.